those who are attending today's program on cosmetology is it dedicated to students of pg diploma fellowship masters in cosmetology aesthetics and skin care under our wnho institute of cosmetology and skin care wnho institute of sexology and psychosexual counseling and so on in clinical cosmetology we are included chemical peeling is a very important factor that works on the skin superficial skin medium and deep skin and we are also going to learn hypo technique for beautification facial rejuvenation and prp platelet rich plasma for facial rejuvenation and hair restoration along with this various gadgets like wood lamps analysis skin analysis program and derma roller and etc now my dear friend why this course because this course we are started the first lecture on this those who are interested a graduate and post graduates uh, related to dermatology and skin diseases so we are included here first cosmetology part then we we are going to discuss in depth with the clinical dermatological cases along with this medicinal line of treatment as a modern medical science and aesthetic beauty treatment combined clinical cosmetology arose as a completely new field flourishing at an astounding speed in recent years in india as well as in abroad this includes skin anatomy basic things skin analysis wood lamps examination and by naked eye examinations and magnifying glass examination chemical peels macroderma abrasions ionophoresis derma roller prp principle of dermatology presentation allergic skin diseases alopecia cosmetology and various things this is and uh, related to sexual problem and all we are going to discuss and skin anatomy everyone knows as you must be knowing skin is the largest organ of the body the surface area of skin is 1.7 square meter and cons constitutes 16 to 20% of total body weight suppose your weight is 100 means 20 kg weight of your skin 16 to 20 kg weight human skin is of two types one is a glabrous skin that is a non hairy skin that is on the palm and soles of the feet and non glabrous skin that is a hairy hair bearing skin that is a whole body except this palm and soles basically skin is divided into understanding purpose into three layers epidermis dermis and subcutaneous layer we are seeing on the one by one what constitute the epidermis the epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin which form an outer protective covering of the body contains no blood vessel but has many small nerves ending consist of stratified epithelial cells so there is a no bleeding immediately from the skin epidermis but there are sensation is there because of the nerve ending varies in thickness on the palm hand and soles of feet but thin and delicate on face particular on eyelids below the eyelids skin is very thin and you have to work your very gentle way or you have to take care about 
low concentrated fields should be used under eye under eyelids and all nearby that always remember that it should not fields should not be inserted anyway in the eyes it should not damage your lens and other things eye lens always take care about this the basic things in epidermis is upper layer is layer is called stratum corneum stratum corneum is just like exfoliatory skin <coughs> there is no blood vessels as such very uh, sensation wise is no ending less nerves uh, nerves and blood supply here stratum corneum then below that st stratum corneum is stratum lucidum and below that stratum granulosum stratum spinosum and stratum basal and all this as you go below one by one there will the increase the blood flow increase the nerve nerve supply and everything and dermis is the lower part below the epidermis basically dermis is form of papillary layer and reticular layer two parts it is the innermost layer of the skin is also called the true skin it is tough flexible and highly elastic it is a thicker on the palm of the hand and sole of feet but is exceedingly thin and delicate on eyelids it consists of connective tissue with elastic and collagen fibers so you know once you want to increase your beauty and uh, decrease your aging process so you have to stimulate the collagen collagen are present in the dermis not on epidermis epidermis it can exfoliate with the derma abrasion machines you can use even if you want deeper way then you can use the derma roller there are the roller which having a multiple needles with the micro needles but basically and various sizes available 0.02 to 0.02 2 to 10 and 0.30 0.50 like that and that uh, derma rollers initially we ask in our clinic in initial stage those who want to rejuvenate their face have the derma roller you can buy from anywhere on amazon and all hardly on 300 to 500 rupees you will get it just you once in a week you start derma ro roller treatment on your face so that you no need of any external application in the early morning you you will see your uh, you looks like a younger that's like you are a young age suppose your age may be uh, 40 50 the you looks like a 30 20 30 like that so don't increase the derma roller depth start from um, what we advise for the patient home visit and they can use it their own 0.3 mm needles then you can increase as a up to the uh, 1 mm like that start from 0.3 mm and once in a week is more more than sufficient to keep you and 24 hours don't apply any uh, anything to on the face and I'll, i'll avoid mostly the face uh, mostly the detergent because detergent, detergent can absorb by the skin and skin may become harder and allergic dermatitis may you may get in such cases so be careful once you are used to this you will one derma roller is sufficient for you for one uh, six months to eight months you can keep it you use it your own and always clean it with uh, spirit or detol and what you can wash it and keep it again as a safer side function of the skin barrier skin is a protective barrier 
against what against radiation against any microorganism entry from the outer part of the body and mechanical barrier like barrier to ultraviolet radiation regulation of body temperature is also role main role of the skin sensory functions and hairs on the skin protect uh, the feeling about uh, protect from the cold sensory functions immunological functions and vitamin d synthesis on the skin and skin is also major part of social and sexual communication so desire is increased in sexual is a sexology is very near to close to cosmetology so we are working on both the sides the cosmetology and sexology and recently we started the cosmetology courses and near about five registrations are there uh, most of them is from bangladesh and two are from india now you have to know what you can do best in the cosmetology you have to reduce the skin you have to make your client younger look means your wrinkles should be static and dynamic link uh, wrinkles you can reduce in initial stage by the derma ruler just we described there is nothing in the uh, medicine here you have to use neutralizer neutralizer you can use even uh drink uh, uh, mineral water in the spray form apply on the face and a derma roller can be used then take rest you can use after derma roller any ice pack if you want if there is any redness more and this redness vanishes after half hour to one hour so derma roller is a basic natural rejuvenation of face and now derma roller so popular each and every dermatologist cosmetologist are using at the home remedy for rejuvenation now we are going to see more like horizontal lines bronze lines crow's feet facial growths and how to remove warts skin tags and moles and other things step by step we are going to see wood lamp examination what is a wood lamp is a mercury vapor ultraviolet lamp with an incorporated wood filter that is opaque to all wavelength except those between 320 to 400 nanometer nanometer the lamp primarily emits 360 nanometer wavelength from the mercury vapor lamp the wood lamp is an essential investigation tool in diagnosis of dry skin oily skin and normal skin they represent give their everything in their literature when you buy this unit is available again on the amazon hardly costing around 2 3000 rupees and uh, derma roller costing about 200 300 rupees like that then you go for chemical peels chemical peeling is a very important factor before that any peel you have to do for testing allergic testing peeling is an applying a chemical agent to exfoliate the epidermis because epidermis you can remove so that you want to be younger and the same thing happens in the derma roller and they remove the by by micro needling part remove the exfoliate the epidermis part and you looks younger in the same way once you do the derma roller then don't do the not advisable a chemical peel because chemical peel is advisable after 48 hours or if you have very sensitive skin then after a week that depend upon individual variation this helps in collagen increasing collagen so the your client looks younger and younger and elast elastin fibers increase in the dermis a peel removes the several layer of sun damage 
skin cells, leaving fresh skin with a more even surface and color. It may stimulate new collagen to be formed, improving the skin texture. The result of the first peel may be disappointing, but the after repeated peel, significant improvement is usually evident. Always say to the, your client, the first peel, you will get only 10 to 20% improvement, but you have to do minimum three to five times peeling once in a week. So that once in a few week or once in a 10 days or 15 days, chemical peeling, so that two and a half months rejuvenation treatment, so you looks younger and better for more time, maybe six months to one year and so on. Then you can advise derma roller at home. After one month of this chemical peeling can be used. Safer side. Principle of chemical peel, you know very well, exfoliation of superficial dead layer of the skin. Once you remove the skin, hardness of the skin because the reaction of radiation of the various rays on your body that becomes the skin become a more and more thicker and darker and these things that will be all removed by the dead tissue by your derma roller. Promote collagen production. The, if the collagen is increased, means you are becoming a more and more young. Stimulate the new cell growth, cleansing of blocked pores. Those pores are these things uh, you can use. Wash the hair face first with the warm cotton gauze, then uh, clean it with the cleansing material or neutralizer, neutralizing agents. Then you can use ice pack after the end of the procedure so that whatever skin opens that close cleansing of clog clogged pores reduces production of the sebum by the oil glands and regulation of moisture level chemical agents now you should remember very simple way what types of the pills how to remember the pills always remember there are main three pills one is aha second is a bha third is pha what is aha aha is nothing but alpha hydroxy acid bha means beta hydroxy acid pha means polyhydroxy acids is a combination of aha and bha is a polyhydroxy acid now remember AHA is alpha hydroxy acid, include glycolic acid prepared from the milk, lactic acid, mandelic acid, and BHA includes salicylic acid. And the concentration, initial concentration, you can use 10%, then gradually can increase to 20%. Even you can use 2% most of the medical preparation available. PHA used for polyhydroxy acid combine combination peel for deeper skin layer. TCA is a trichloroacetic acid, very, very careful, used to the only on the scar or hard callus formation or fibro fibrotic lesions, fibrotic part on the skin. Phenols are carbolic acid. Now, my dear friend, where these pills are available? The pills are very simple. Now you know very well. I told you AHA, hydroxy, AHA, BHA, and PH. AHA is alpha hydroxy acid, is glycolic acid, lactic acid, and mandelic. GLM, glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid. Then BHA salicylic acid. Very, very simple. You remember BHA salicylic. BHA, you should re just remember these pills so that you can buy the pill from the various manufacturer and you can use it properly. <clears throat> Suppose you want to treat very superficial, no risk at all. Glycolic acid you can use every day. 
at bed time no problem very superficial glycolic acid because day time we generally not advise any peeling because you have to go for the work and home and sun rays radiation and other things ultraviolet radiation and that affect your body with the dust and other things superficial you have to use lactic acid peel and medium is salicylic acid bh and tca and deep phenols very deep that mostly on elbow they become black and black and thick blackness that where you have to apply these phenols you can use along with this vaseline if the phenol is more hurting or concentrated so they don't touch this other part of the body only on required part just like we are using chemical burning or chemical uh, cauterization of warts and other things what you are doing in routine practice different aha how is it prepared alpha hydroxy acid is a glycolic acid prepared from sugar cane lactic acid prepared from fermented milk lactic means fermented milk mandelic acid prepared from bitter almonds malic acid prepared from apples tartaric acid prepared from grapes you just remember so you can say this is a this is a particularly natural peeling though it is a you have to take useful chemical peeling is name but don't make so much uh, you uh, while using use it carefully day by day you will be you understand once you five to 10 patient handling because online we can't handle the cases but you can do start by doing on yourself your family members and just start with the glycolic acid peel and see the look why you start from the derma uh, roller like that you can use start for your and mandelic acid uh, is a bitter almonds malic acid apple tartaric acid grapes uh, once what we need during peel peeling neutralizer measuring cups two cups brushes in practically on a uh, with your tray during a peeling what you need neutralizer neutralizer you use the available neutralizer if you want natural then can use the water is the best neutralizer the distilled water you can use is measuring cups two brushes two because one is the chemical peel used for the chemical peels and second for the neutralizer suppose the patient say oh i am getting irritation then immediately apply the neutralizer so that is a irritation will reduce cleanser you can use vaseline earbud headband cotton tissue rose water ipad mask and sunscreen both are registered for masters course in cosmetology and skin care from bangladesh they will uh, please uh, we have uh, send you all the books and everything but just you and just for your uh, easiest way to go ahead and taking this class to understand it in deeply and how to use it clinically what how we are using it this chemical peeling for routine practice procedure elevate the client head by 45 degree don't do peeling on the supine position always elevate 45 degree so that always it not supine degree there may be sometimes patient may feeling of giddiness anything you can't recognize and elevate the client the peel absorption will be gradual and slow tie the headband clean the face with the pre pre cleanser use according to the skin textures oily normal and dry accordingly you can use the various peels we are going to take in details and when we take the cosmetological material and all apply vaseline to sensitive area like the outer and inner cavity of the eyes 
angle of the mouth and nose with an eye earbud you can apply these things earbud you know very available very well a packet of 100 and 200 and just use one for one patient if the client is about to under, undergo peeling for the first time then a peel sensitivity test should be performed how to perform the peel sensitivity test very simple apply 1 ml to 20 percent glycolic acid in stroke with a peel brush as you touch the peel brush on your face start the timer stroke should be outward to inward inward single stroke only which is upper like that out, outward to in inwards and stroke application approximately time application should be 45 seconds and peel to be kept for three minutes only this three minute include your time of application as well mild itching is a very common mild itching and burning sensation more are experienced which which is a normal after three minutes dab the under eyes and upper eye with cold water first then neutralizer the rest of the face with 2 ml of neutralizer neutralization of the peel can be done two to three times chemical peeling you have to apply once only and neutralizing neutralizer solution you can apply two to three times depending upon the need during neutralization patient feels warm sensation this is due to the acid base reaction this clean face with the cold water and give the cold compress to the face when the patient complain of any burning apply the face mask hydrating whitening for 20 minutes remove the mask and apply sunscreen according to the skin type precautions while doing the peel if there is a unbearable burning stingling or frosting immediately neutralizer can be applied if the bp is then immediately remove the peels the peel with cold water cold compression can be used post peeling care can wash with the plain water after 2 hours soap can be applied after 12 hours there will be mild redness for one to two hours. Avoid direct sunlight. Apply sunscreen 20 minutes before sun exposure. Avoid swimming, sweating for two to three days. No facial bleach, trading, waxing, and plucking for seven days before and after the peel. Avoid make up for 12 hours don't use medicated cream for two days before and after peel don't pick the picking delays healing and causes scaring moisturizing use the moisturizer after the peel you can use the even in a daily daily routine you can use the moisturizer after your peeling early morning you can use the moisturizer so that skin become healthy feeling normal bitter hydroxy acid salicylic acid aha we have seen now bha bitter hydroxy salicylic acid is used in the deep skin it derived from the sweet birch willow bark and wintergreen leaves it is mostly available in north america it is a lipophilic and acts as a keratolytic agent by dissolving the intercellular lip lipids surround the keratinizing epithelial cells due to its lipophilic nature it acts on sebaceous folic has excellent activity and hence is a very useful for acne it has anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties so most of the times along with this after the washing of the uh, acne 
एक्टिव एक्ने ऑफ ग्रेट कैन बी यूज सैलिसिलिक एसिड बाय यूजिंग द ईयर बर्ड पर्टिकुलर वन ड्रॉप एट वन एक्ने साइड ओनली नो अदर पार्ट शुड इन्वॉल्व इमीजिएटली सो दैट विल हेल्प एक्ने विल heal faster and long lasting results you can find out active fistular acne you can use salicylic acid this is a bha is a salicylic acid open pores you can use salicylic acid salicylic acid is used only as a spa peel don't use on full face only on particularly one pore spot means one one acne is one spot that is the way you can consider here use in combination with glycolic peel glycolic peel you can use whole face but salicylic acid you use only on one by one on spot acne spot now polyhydroxy acid is a combination of glycolic acid with salicylic acid also called body peel it can be used on the whole body is called the body peel polyhydroxy acid peel sometimes before marriage most of the girls are coming for polyhydroxy acid peel whole body peeling and all and after derma abrasion you can use after a three days or after a week we advise them to apply this and that skin remains stronger and brighter fine lines and wrinkles rehydration of the skin dark bark elbow forearms pigmented feet and hands pigmented feet and hands you can use this polyhydroxy now my dear friend we already cover most of the part of chemical peeling chemical peeling in conjugative lectures we will are taking in a deep deep and deep way in future with the dermatological condition and disease wise 